Okay, ladies and gen. Okay, ladies and gentlemen. And not AIs that are eventually going to rule our future and take over the world. I don't even know what the point of this video is. The world is pretty much on fire and it seems like everything's going to shit. And uh, I decided I kind of want to just complain about a movie. That's it. I just want to bitch for a little bit. I don't know. I don't even know. I don't even have a, you know, a end goal in this video in mind, but I, I felt like I just needed to talk about the upcoming movie Mulan. All right. Now, if you haven't heard, Disney's been making a bunch of fucking remakes. Some good, some okay, some pretty bad. I don't know if there's ever any, any been, you know, like, oh my God, phenomenal. This is the, so much better than the original. I don't think that's happened yet. There's already been a lot of talk. I'm kind of late to the party. There's been a lot of talk about how there's not going to be any music and it's it's not going to be like your typical Disney film, I suppose you could say. People were kind of like, what the hell? You know, like, what's the point then? And they're, they're, they're not going to put in Mushu, right? They're not going to have any of that. This is a quote from, from a producer, I should say. Uh, it says, he says, it will not be traditional break into musical songs. They're not going to stop their workouts to do a big musical number to camera. However, there are a number of songs that are iconic for the movie and tell a great version of the story. And they are very helpful to us in how we're putting the movie together. It gets a little easier in animation to keep the tension and reality in place and still have people break into song and sing to camera. We made the decision that we wanted to keep the world, even though it's a fantasy, more grounded, more realistic to those emotions really played and the threat is very real. So we are using music in a slightly different way. And this kind of came out to be the fact that they were kind of using the music in the trailer, right? The kind of the orchestra. Let's look at the official trailer. This Do you came know out why the Phoenix first sits on the right hand of the Emperor. She is his guardian, his protector. That she's both beautiful and strong. Your job is to bring honor to the family. Do you think you can do that? Citizens, we are under attack from northern invaders. Their leader calls himself Ori Khan. Fights alongside a witch. No survivors. By edict of his imperial majesty, every family must contribute one man to fight. Have you no son? I am blessed with two daughters. I will fight. We must be strong. This time he will not return. See, they're going for more of the drama, the more seriousness of the loyal of the story of Mulan, right? Because it's based on the fable true. of the. It is my duty. Uh, to protect my family. The Chinese so they're really going into that realism. Ancestors, please protect but her. Like, what is your name? Soldier? Hua Jun, Commander, son of Hua Zhou. We're going to make men out of every single one of you. What is this? Like, what do you mean? Like, how can... Spirit is that, evident. They, can, something they can have a person turning into a bird, but they can't have a drag... Okay, that's sure that is a, diff, a drastic jump, but... Come on, I just want Mushu. What's you back? Murphy. When they find out who you are, they will show you no mercy. I'm Hua Mulan. I will bring honor to us all. So 
So they're still playing on that nostalgia, right? For you to go watch this this movie. Now remember, this was pre-COVID. Like I'm pretty sure before when all this was released, when we found out there wasn't going to be any music. What I get from this quote is that they're going to probably use like the orchestra type of music like they were doing for the trailer. And maybe they'll have it in like some scenes where they can kind of play off having music like maybe the ceremony scene where she's uh i don't i don't i'm kind of fuzzy i haven't watched the movie in a while Give it a try. i don't know it was when she was like dressed up in makeup in the beginning of the movie with all, like, all the other women and she, yeah there was that part so maybe they could get away with having music in that because it's kind of like a ceremony type of thing but i don't know if they're gonna have the same exact song because it was kind of comedic in a way the music that was in that but people don't a lot of people don't know this it actually flopped in china and one of the reasons is they they didn't think that she was heroic enough or something like that right and another reason was of mushu they didn't like mushu right and kind of weird that that's kind of that's something that's getting removed from the remake that's coming up but that's could be coincidental right maybe they just can't make a talking dragon work in a live action series okay and specifically in something like this and the fact that they're not even using music like musicals to to keep it more real i i doubt a a flying dragon is going to be um something that's realistic Remember, remember, di not only Disney, okay, let's let's be fair here. A lot of corporations, a lot of movie companies, they tend to cater towards audiences in different regions of the world, right? You got to you got to you got to know your audience, right? So they market movies differently over in China than they do here at the US. If you if you're not aware of this, okay? It's it's not that big of a secret. It is what it is, right? Corporations do it. The, that, that's, that's why like all this when you see corporations post stuff like when they're in support of things right of like gay rights and uh s you know stuff and like black lives matter and all that you, you gotta you gotta you, you you can't just look at the you can't just listen to their words you have to look at their actions right time and time again disney has catered towards chinese audience by doing some very questionable things just look just look what they did with finn's character on the posters of the first Star Wars movie, The Force Awakens. Like, there's a whole big, con like, a whole big controversy of that, right? I mean, and they still kind of do it, right? This movie is not for you. Let me let me rephrase. Let me phrase this right so I don't get fucking. You know, I don't even know how to say this. Like, it's it's weird. Like, it wasn't made. The the only intent behind this remake is money, basically. I mean, that's kind of the whole point of all these remakes, but. This remake is really like the worst of what these remakes could be or what we feared they could be. A clear and utter cash grab that uses nostalgia as a way to to grab and rule in paying customers. This is the kicker. This is why this gets me. This is why it really grinds my gears. This is why it really grinds my gears because of COVID. It was one thing when it was just going to be out in theaters. But because of COVID now, it's going to be releasing on Disney+. Plus. I don't know if you guys heard of this, but it's going to be on Disney+. Plus. And not only is it going to be on Disney+, Plus, we have to pay $9.99 a month for. But you got to pay $30 for Mulan on Disney+. Plus. Some people defend this say well if you watch it with more than like two people then you like get you know because if, if each ticket's like you know 10 some dollars or whatever depending on where you are and then you get snacks and all that then it definitely beats going to a movie theater but i'm not going to a movie theater i'm not going on fucking imax all right i'm not i'm not getting snacks movie theater snacks that like you know m&ms and all that i'm eating you know, maybe you have some popcorn, but it's it's not the same. It's not the same. You know, what if I want to do 4D? You know, you like. 
if they somehow make a lot of money off of your dumbasses buying this $30 cash grab, they, they, I mean, I guess I don't, I don't even know what to say. I mean, I guess they, they, they can really do whatever they want at this, at that point. I'm just, I, I don't want to say don't watch this movie because I feel like I kind of want to watch the movie. I don't know if I want to pay for it though, but for FBI reasons, I don't really know what to say. This, this really isn't just, this is, this is just not really a movie made for an American audience. This is definitely catered towards Chinese audience. It's supposed to be more dramatic, more more this is just a prediction it hasn't even come out right so you know wait till the movie comes out to actually truly judge it they might pull a 180 on us and put in music and shit anyways this is a pretty good pretty big move for asian americans is all asian cast right so i don't want to see i don't want to shit on this movie too much because of the people that worked on it and all that but disney as a corporation began this movie as a cash grab does that make sense does it make sense what I'm trying to say? I don't want to shit talk the hard work that it actually took making into this movie, right? Because me as an amateur filmmaker, I can appreciate the work it takes to make shit, okay? And so, basically, fuck Disney the corporation, but damn, do they make good shit. You know what I'm, you know what I mean? Basically, what I'm trying to say is do do whatever you want. All I'm saying is I, I don't think this movie's really kind of for you or us. You know what I mean? This is uh, they're really hoping on the foreign market for this movie. I'm assuming. I'm assuming that's what they're really going for. Um, and they might get it because <laughs> unlike the United States of America. A lot of other countries can open up because they had COVID under control already. So thank you, Mr. President. It is what it is. So I guess that's, you know, they're hoping to at least make some money off of some of the dummies that can pay or are willing to pay $30 for this. What I'm assuming is going to be okay movie. And, um... I can't wait to see the numbers when this movie comes out because it's gonna be soon. I'm pretty sure it's gonna be soon. Here's what I here's what here's here's what it is. Maybe instead of them trying to pull this off as a Mulan remake, they really they're just, they, I mean to be fair, they are just calling it Disney's Mulan. But the fact that they already made a movie called Mulan and it's animated, you can't just say that this isn't because this is obviously a remake of that that's what they're doing their whole disney they're redoing their whole disney lineup right this is more based in the uh, the tale right <coughs> mulan the animated series i don't think was so much and that's why chinese audiences didn't like it so much and but that's kind of what gave it the charm to american audiences was the appropriation that good old razzle dazzle that just not too much but just enough where it's okay should I do a review on it? Let me know. Leave a thumbs up if you think I should do a review on this movie when it comes out. Maybe it'll be okay. It'll probably be a good watch. It's a, it might be a good action movie. I'm not going to deny it might be a good action movie. It's Disney. They got lots of money. But will it be a good Mulan remake? Probably not. Good luck, Charlie. I guess.